So I've been using this Black & Decker gyro for a while. I want to do a quick review on it. It's a very powerful screwdriver and for an everyday screwdriver it actually works pretty great. If you're an electrician and you do a lot of uh, screwing then this is going to speed up your daily job. If you, in any job that requires you to keep turning a screwdriver it could get pretty tiresome to just keep on turning your wrist. Your wrist is not really designed to turn like this. After a while your, uh, your wrist is used to forces going up and down and just a little left and right it's not really used to torque so if your job requires a lot of torquing then this will actually work very well for you. The battery life is very good it's got a 2.2 amp hour battery and if uh, you use it all day that might actually get you through. At a price of $20 on sale you could probably afford to get two of these actually and this is small enough for you to carry with you you're not going to carry a full size drill with you everywhere you go so if you just carry small screwdrivers this is about that size a little bit bigger but not considerably. Using that lithium ion battery it lasts a long time and it's lightweight so it sure beats uh, nickel metal hydride. It only has a brushed motor in it but that's fine for what it's doing you don't need a lot of power so you don't need the brushless motor. It takes a while to charge like overnight but if you get through a full day with just one charge this will work great for you. So that's a quick summary of what I think of this you can watch the rest of the video to see a more detailed review. I'm going to do a quick review of the Black & Decker gyro screwdriver. It uses the gyro to sense how much you turn it. So if you turn it off the central axis left or right, just like you turn a screwdriver, it'll tighten or loosen. And you can vary that speed by going a little or a lot. It's pretty intuitive, the buttons on the back, so when you're pushing into a screw and turning, it gives you positive pressure on the screw. It goes up to 180 RPM from 0 to 180 and you can control that quite well as you can see. It can go quite slow for the full 180. It comes with two bits and the charger. That's it. It doesn't come with much more. It comes with the Phillips and flathead. It's the standard size so you can fit on any other bits that you have. It comes with the Phillips number two and that fits standard screws quite well. So I've drilled three pilot holes. I'm going to put these screws in using the Black & Decker gyro. Let's try the center hole first. So it's strong enough to break particle board which doesn't say much but as you can see it was quite strong. One good thing about it is that it has the light so if you're underneath a counter or something you could use this as a flashlight and you can see what you're working on. You can adjust it so you can screw it in slowly and control it. You can go a little faster or you can go max speed. The great thing about this is that you're pushing down on it so you're getting a lot of good positive pressure onto the Phillips screw head and if you don't do that it slips out. It was designed to do that but you don't want it to do that all the time. And once you're done screwing it in, if you want to use it as a screwdriver, the rotation is pretty much locked. So you can actually use it as a manual screwdriver if you don't push the button after that. The battery holds a charge for a year and a half, 18 months. I believe that since it's uh, basically a 2.2 amp hour, 3.7 volt lithium ion inside. It sits right there. It actually shows you the insides of it. That's exactly what it's like inside. I've taken it apart to verify in there. And a nice gearbox.
So this screw here maxed it out. I can't go and strip that. So once it locks up, you can actually go ahead and use your hand and continue turning it. So it's not as strong as you can turn, but... There we go. We've stripped that those threads. So this thing has quite a bit of power. It has enough torque to split particle board, but when it comes to actual thick threaded screws, it can seize up and lock up. So it has a lot of torque, but nothing ground shattering. You can get most jobs done, but you'll probably need an 18 volt drill for any larger jobs. Works well for things like loose handles in the house. You can just go ahead and tighten those up. Nice and tight now. The saying works especially well when you're working on subwoofers and such because there's so many screws to screw in that it speeds that right up. So if you look up one quarter inch socket adapters for the screwdriver, it'll come up with all these socket adapters. So you can go on eBay and order these and then you can make very good use of your gyro screwdriver as a socket driver. Like it works well even working on the uh, drain pan or for the transmission. If you're taking your wheels off, this comes in handy. Once you break it, you can use this to unscrew it the rest of the way because that takes quite a bit of time if you're doing it by hand. So. Having this with a socket adapter makes it pretty handy, pretty quick. Here I'm using the 10 millimeter socket to remove the rear light. Makes these tasks much quicker. Here's a 3 8 inch socket connector and a 14 millimeter socket here. So I'm going to take it into the back seat here and I've got some uh, nuts that hold the back seat in and I'm going to try to take those out. So at full force it can't take those out. What that tells you is it's not, what that tells you is it doesn't have that much torque so you're going to need to use a proper wrench to undo those bolts. But once you do loosen them up, this thing does help you unscrew it or screw it in all the way which is quite helpful so it doesn't have a lot of torque but it helps you get the job done quickly which would have otherwise taken you quite a bit with this wrench but it does help you get most of the way there so let's take a look at something else. It doesn't come with that many bits, but you can always add bits from other sources, so it's pretty good. Here we're in the trunk, and I've attached this cargo hook, or a t cargo attachment, so that you can carry bags and such. So it worked very well in installing this, because it has enough speed to tap these self-tapping screws. For instance, watch this. I'm going to do a destructive test here, but if you need to get into it, this has enough speed and power to do it. So there's a self-tapping screw. You can get that in and out quite easily with the uh, gyro. The convenience of the form factor really shines when you're in awkward positions like this. So I'm in the trunk here, I've got to unscrew it or screw it in straight up and down. You can just hold it like this and unscrew these screws, so watch here. And if you use a normal screwdriver, you're going to be all upside down and turning like that. So it really shows its convenience when it's got awkward positions like that. 
So in this case here, it doesn't have enough torque, but it can be used to get these out because you can turn it. It becomes locked when it doesn't have enough torque, so you can use your hand to give it an extra crank. And the best part is you can use it to crank it down even if you're not turning it on. So stalling the motor doesn't seem to break it. I've been stalling it for quite a bit now and it hasn't broken, so. It's also good because you can push down on it and turn while you're cranking your screw, which is required for Phillips usually, so. You don't want to over tighten this. Gives you pretty good control for tightness, but you can also use it without pushing down. It's just as a screwdriver, so you can feel how uh, tight it is by hand. So as you can see, it's not a toy. It can actually do quite a bit of work and help you speed up any of your repairs and handiwork. So I hope that shows you a little bit of what the Black & Decker Gyro can do for you, how well it can handle torque, how fast it is. It's got quite a bit of battery power. The 2.2 uh, amp hour lithium ion cell in there is pretty good. It lasts quite a bit of time for on one charge. I haven't done that much with it, just drill through some wood, remove it and install some bolts, put in some self-tapping screws. But it's still going strong, I haven't had to charge it yet. It lasts for a long time. I had it sitting around for a couple months and it still works. So it's a pretty good handheld screwdriver. I don't mind using it. I think if this one breaks, I would buy another one. For the price that it comes at, it adds a lot of convenience to your toolbox. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.